Usain Bolt goes for gold again. The U.S. women's volleyball and basketball teams head to the semis. And can the U.S. beat Japan in a rematch of last summer's Women's World Cup final? I'm Heather and I've got all the details coming up in today's Olympics Buzz. It's the guys' night to shine at Olympic Stadium as some of the heaviest favorites in London go for gold. In the 200 meters, sprinter extraordinaire Usain Bolt looks to repeat his dominance with fellow Jamaican Johan Blake heading his many pursuers. The Bolt equivalent at 800 meters is South Africa's David Rudisha, who could threaten his own world record in a final that also has Nick Simmons and Dwayne Solomon chasing the event's first U.S. medal in 20 years. But the American duo on center stage is undoubtedly Ashton Eaton and Trey Hardy as they conclude the decathlon, the event that made Bruce Jenner famous before he became the Kardashian stepfather. Thursday also sees the U.S. women's volleyball and basketball teams playing semifinals, with the hoops team going for consecutive Olympic win number 40 against Australia and center Liz Cambage, who threw down the first ever Olympic women's dunk earlier in the games. In gold medal action, the U.S. faces Japan in a highly anticipated rematch of last summer's Women's World Cup final, won on penalty kicks by Japan. In water polo, Maggie Steffens and the U.S. face Spain for the first ever gold. And individual gold is the goal for platform diver Brittany Viola and 17-year-old U.S. boxer Claressa Shields, who goes in the last bout of her Sports Olympic debut. For more Olympic scoop, check out Sidereel's Olympics page.